confronted with Tasha. We felt that we had gathered everything that we were going to gather. And KSC fans, though, it's real time. And also, we wanted to get into the house at that point. So on November 26th, when she pulled up to the house, we pulled up, asked if we could talk to her. The investigators didn't tell her that her husband was dead, however. Instead, they led her to believe they were looking into a missing person's case. We told her guard asked us for assistance because your husband's missing. He didn't show up for drill. And we just talked to her about it, asked her if she would be willing to come back to the sheriff's office with us to talk about it. She agreed, uh, didn't appear nervous, didn't appear upset about anything. And she wasn't reluctant to talk about her husband either. Once in the interview room, Watasha told the investigators that in the past few months, their marriage had begun to fall apart. He started hanging out with some guys or whatever, and I mean, he just started changing. And according to Watasha, he was changing for the worse. She said he was running around with a tough crowd. That uh, Norman was uh, drinking a lot. And Did that wasn't all mm -hmm. she claimed that her husband had been doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natasha told the investigators that between Norman's new friends and the fact that her husband was always high, the months of September and October yeah. had been a nightmare. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm like, because he had no idea. And so it was really hard because we had to be a free man and college student trying to graduate. Watasha claimed that the final break had come just a few days shy of their second anniversary. I came home from school and he was on the couch and he was just kind of like just I think he was on the couch and he was just kind of like just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was like, dude, I just can't, you know. She claimed that she was a church-going person and uh, but wouldn't be involved in this kind of lifestyle. It was like, 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 she said that Norman took everything with him and he asked by everything he had his ID. Don't want the cookies. Don't want the cookie. The investigator knew that this was a lie. They'd already found Norman's IDs in the garbage more than two weeks after they found his dismembered body. Dumped on the lonely country road. I'm keeping everything. I don't want to keep everything. No. You don't like it because you threw it all out of your garbage. Just watch it like a stray. 